My name is Jenny Keane and I'm into powerlifting. My name's Catherine and I play cricket. And my name's Charlotte and I also play cricket. Rachel Carnell and I've played football. I'm Abigail and I do karate. Uh, my name's Hannah Cockcroft, MBE, and I'm a wheelchair racer on the Great Britain Paralympic Athletics team. Alison I am and I was involved in football. My greatest achievement is probably being five-time Paralympic champion. It's got to be being the first woman to squat 500 pounds. I played England indoor in the under 19, so a World Cup winner. Playing in the FA Cup, getting to play in the proper rounds for my university team against my old team. Taking my second down grade, I think, which is the second black belt. Like getting into the England under 18 trials. But being a world record holder is quite high up there as well. And, and also playing against Australia students. In England, and then representing my country as well. So that's a massive achievement as well. Some people suggest that women it shouldn't be playing and they're not good enough. And some you've got the whole they're okay for women. There's still a very old-fashioned kind of viewing of sport. I think just in in the world, people kind of they kind of just think sport is for men. And you see a woman there, and they're like, oh, well, they'll never be as fast as the men. And you kind of want to sit there and say. Actually, I can probably beat a lot of the guys in our sport, um, but we don't get the chance to do that. There's definitely stereotypes um, in terms of how feminine they are, but like women who play football are particularly feminine, um, and there can be stereotypes around um, sexuality with women in football. I don't know from like an outside perspective, people might think, oh, if someone does weights, that they're like. We are put in separate categories in competitions, so there is like women's categories and men's categories. We're not just in the same grouping, so you could say that's a bit of a bias, saying that if it was all in the same category, we would be rated on our skill and not our gender. It used to be very much of a lot of females that play it, they were very masculine so people would just presume that you were gay and that was a lot of problems you know that caused a lot of problems people didn't want to be involved in it because of that and now it depends on the standard as in the height up you go the more they seem to respect you whereas when you play at a lower standard it's kind of a bit okay that i'm going to prove that you shouldn't be here so as for a man they'd never have to prove they're able to be there they'd just be them another player but as soon as you turn up at some games you can kind of see I am always the athlete who gets in trouble for saying what I think, but um, there's prejudice in things like sponsorship, and it's not just against Paralympians. It, you know, the fact that I'm a female Paralympian puts me right at the bottom of everybody's roster. You know, you are not as successful if you are a female Paralympian as you are a male Paralympian. It's just not spoke about that much. Oh, they don't get the funding and things like that. That you know, you look at how much goes into men's football and the money aspect. There's a fraction of that going into the female sport. They will come this, in the second rate of it. It will be the men's team first, and then the women's gets um, gets mentioned. So they're not quite on the same level, um, but it's definitely better than other sports where women are more portrayed for what they wear. Whenever a, a female is put into the media, it quite literally is always on the way she looks. Always. I won two gold medals at London 2012, and all the comments I received of men were about how I looked. And I was just like, did you not see what I just did on the track? I don't care if my skin is bad or if my hair is not perfect right now. I just want a gold medal. And I think that's that's kind of the problem with it. People will never see female sport as a big as as big an achievement as males because we maybe don't go quite as fast or, or we're not we don't look quite as strong, but actually what we're doing I think is ten times more impressive. So my goals my immediate goals, we have our world championships that are happening in London in July. Um, so I'm going and training to try and retain my triple world champion title there. I'm still trying to push, be consistent, or more consistent than they have been in the past. Just to try and keep playing really, and keep sort of fitness up, and possibly like looking to run in a team myself. I've got competition coming up, and the, the aim is if I do well at that, it's going to be selected for the Great Britain team again, which is a really tough competition, and be able to go abroad and compete for Great Britain again. Just progress. 
for the county play, key player and be consistent. Beyond that, I'm here for Tokyo 2020. Um, I want to retain my Paralympic titles and, and maybe claim some more, depending on what events they give me. My only teaching in it, and that's what I'm going to be doing this summer, hopefully, and carrying on, maybe getting my own club. Thank you.